So today is January 25th. It's Friday, 10.43 p.m. Uh, I don't really know what to say besides um, I'm kind of winding down from having a really bad anxiety attack just now. Um, just like 10 minutes ago, I was crying because I, I just feel really bad anxiety. And oddly enough, turning the camera on um, to vlog about how I feel and to maybe just get it off my chest so it can be a bit cathartic for me. Um, surprisingly enough, just turning on the camera and looking at myself, looking at my face, just how I look, it kind of just switches me back to normal and kind of just dulls down my anxiety. I'm sorry. It just dulls down my anxiety um, very quickly, which is very strange. I didn't know that uh, looking at yourself intently would kind of just dull down your anxiety. I didn't know that that was a trick that actually worked. But I'm glad that turning on the camera to try to talk about what I'm feeling at the moment is helping me at least to dull my anxiety down because it was really really bad basically what I've been doing for the past three days is packing I'm moving again um it's it's fucking terrible but at the same time um it's liberating it's always very bittersweet I feel very like mixed emotions right now because basically I came here where I'm living um, in Pasadena maybe I shouldn't say that basically I came to the situation where I'm living with roommates um, like early October late September um, as soon as I came here it wasn't working out like right off the bat like the first weekend I knew something just didn't feel right and I've been on and off staying here ever since and it's already end of January and you know, it's it's just it's very bad. This entire situation is just bad. I don't know. I don't know what to. I don't even know where to begin to explain to you guys what's been going on. Basically, you know, the whole roommate thing just it's not working out, and it wasn't on my part at all. It was just one of the people that I live with happens to have like some sort of mental issue um like a mental health issue and I didn't know that and it's just been fucking terrible ever since um I mean I'm trying not to be bitter about it I'm trying to take it as a learning lesson it's very very difficult to do that when somebody has put you in a very tough position where you know you're leaving everything you have behind starting over and then once you come here to start over, again, you have to start over. So it's it's just starting over continually. It's what my life has been for the co past couple months. It's been very unstable, which is why I really haven't, you know, been around on my main channel. Just because, you know, I don't feel, I don't feel right, basically. I don't feel like I'm in a place where I feel happy enough to share what's good basically because life's just super fucking hard right now <clears throat> basically you know my roommates put me in a really tough situation where I left my mom's house I left everything I almost everything I ever owned every piece of furniture everything I just left everything behind and just brought like the most basic things that I could and, you know now that I'm here I'm having to you know just get rid of so many things again and you would think it would feel cathartic to let go of material possessions but you know these are things that you know I've had for years and it's even like a piece of clothing or like one of Jacob's baby blankets one of my son's baby blankets like it's very very difficult to let go of that because at this point I really almost have nothing left um, earlier in the night, my boyfriend was helping me, you know, pack up my stuff and 
you know, getting rid of some things to donate, and I just started freaking out, like, my anxiety was going, like, just going off the charts, and just, like, my, my body was physically starting to hurt, like, I felt like I was in the episode of Hoarders, it's, I did not realize that it was that bad, um, I don't know if I'm a hoarder or not, but, you know, I don't think I am, I just think that, you know, with my anxiety and everything, it's very difficult for me to to let go of things and to change. And I don't really necessarily like change too often. I don't I don't want to It's just when it's in a bad way, it's very difficult to constantly be changing and changing and changing where you live, where you go, what you do, your routine, your entire life. I've basically turned my life upside down like three times within the past five, six months. And I'm very, very tired of it. I don't, I don't know what else to do at this point. Basically, my anxiety has just been getting the best of me. I don't know how to deal with it. I'm just trying to get through it day by day at this at this point and I don't know I, I don't have anyone to confide in basically which is why I started this channel why I started to vlog because I thought it it might help me feel better and for anyone who struggles with anxiety out there then you know you can relate to me and it's very very difficult basically to just start your entire life over and over and over again and not knowing when the roller coaster is going to end. So, um, I don't have any advice for this video. Usually I like to include some sort of advice towards the end of every video, but at this point, I don't feel I'm in any position to give anyone advice because I can barely deal with my anxiety. Um... I don't know. I just, I hope for the best, I guess. That's the best advice that I can give myself and anyone out there watching at this point. is just, whatever you're going through, just hope for the best and try to stay positive. That's what I'm doing, I guess. Anyways, I don't want this vlog to go on for too long, so thank you for watching. And, you know, um, if you have the same kind of issues as I'm going through, feel free to share them down below in the comments and maybe we can start like a little thread about that. So, okay. Bye.